and right here this one has this one has a and this one this is a, the male and this is the female right here as you tell this one has this one has a brow bone but this one does this individual right here doesn't have a brow bone and this one has a pointy or chin then this individual right here and as you can see right here that this individual has a fake behind because you know transvestites in Hollywood tend to go way over top in hair makeup clothing and even plastic certain even cosmetic surgery and whoever requested this video this videos for you and the men in Hollywood the ones that I suspect I mean the ones that I mean I, I don't I don't really know because because all of them could be transgender but I don't I don't know I don't I don't know if they're they're all trained all of the men so-called men are transgender in Hollywood if they aren't then they marry transvestites they don't marry real women because there aren't any real women in Hollywood and I, I don't follow this individual. I've never been a fan, never found her attractive or anything like that. And to be honest with you, I mean, Diana Ross didn't have these curves. That's how I know they fake. And because everyone is stuck on big butts these days and stuff for some reason. As you can tell right here, this individual's behind. I mean, Diana Ross had always been skinny. And this individual has never had any kind of. Diana Ross never had any kind of curves or anything, and you also have to, and curves are, I'm just be honest, are more associated with black women, and, and uh, her father, and Tracy's father is white, so this individual's derriere is obviously, and hips and stuff, the false hips and things like that, are obviously surgically enhanced. Every last one of these individuals right here are clones. They're all in clones, but they're transgender. These, I believe these two to be females. This one, this individual, it's not so obvious on this individual, but it's on. It's, it's most obvious on the youngest one. And all three of these, Diana, El Tracy, and Chudney, they're all men. They're not women at all. As you can tell by the jaw line, the, the, the big square jaw, the... Big square chin, big square jaw, the prominent brow ridge. You see the brow bone is poking out right there, and the tranny cheekbones. And this is a clone, obviously. I mean, this looks nothing like the Diana Ross clones that I saw in times past. Because, as I've said before, uh, the, the more the more these celebrities get cloned, the less they look like, the less they look like the uh, the you know their former selves. I mean, I don't know why that happens, but. It's just something that occurs for some reason or another. And this is obviously a man right here. Look at the big broad square shoulders. And they go over top with the hair and makeup, the clothing, and the, the trans these transvestite celebrities, they go over top with that kind of stuff because over the top because they um uh, they they are they're trying to hide the fact that they're trannies. Here's Trace with the Mickey sort of Mickey Mouse hairdo or something something. And which is a coincidence because Jessica Simpson, who's standing, who's sitting beside her, is used to try to, you know, become part of the Mickey Mouse Club a number of years ago, but that, it wasn't written in the stars, so that didn't quite work out. And Jessica Simpson is all, and I plan on doing a video on this individual right here in the future. Je, Jessica Simpson is also a man because of the big square chin with the cleft in it, the big square jaw. The prominent brow ridge and the tranny cheekbone area. And these are both clones and not real people at all. As you can tell by the their frozen facial expression, Jessica just looks like he is staring out in the nowhere. And you see there's no hips right there and and the legs look very manly. Because I know what man legs look like, you know. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. And if there's no further ado, I'm out. Peace and bless much peace and blessings.